bright duty every student matters how will you find the valency of chlorine sulfur and magnesium now for that for finding out the valency what do you need you need to know the number of electrons so in case of chlorine the number of electrons is 17 so the k l m n shell so how will it be arranged 2 8 7 first shell 2 maximum second shell 8 maximum and in the third shell the leftover that is 2 plus 8 10 10 plus 7 17 now in the m shell you see it is running short of one electron to become an octet completely filled so what does chlorine do it gains an electron from any other atom and thus the valency of chlorine becomes minus 1 because it is gaining a negative charge so the valency of chlorine is minus 1 similarly let us take for sulfur what is the atomic uh, what is the number of electrons for sulfur it's 16 so in case of sulfur it is 2 8 and 6 now again you see first shell completed second shell completed third shell running short of two electrons so what would it do it is going to gain two electrons to make it 18 so once these two electrons get added up in the outermost orbit or the outermost shell of sulfur then it is going to be completely stable clear the next is magnesium now in case of magnesium What is the number of electrons? It is 12. You will see in the textbook the number of electrons are already given. So you can find out the number of electrons and with the help of these number of electrons you can distribute the electron accordingly in different shells. So the first shell takes 2, 8. So 2 and 8 makes 10. So the leftover goes 2. Now in case of magnesium what happens? It would not gain electrons because it is running short of six electrons now it will be energetically very difficult for it to gain six electrons so for magnesium it would lose electrons so magnesium will readily lose two electrons to become have a valency of plus two to make it octet so it will lose these two electrons and become two and eight and because there is now excess of positive charges Thus, the valency of magnesium is going to be plus 2. I hope this is clear how you, you need to find out the valencies of different elements. Define valency by taking examples of silicon and oxygen. Now, in case of that, what is valency? Valency is the combining capacity. Valency is the, what is valency? It is termed as the combining capacity of an atom okay and which takes place with the help of electrons so if i have to take silicon the atomic number of silicon is 14 so how would we do the electronic configuration the electronic configuration would be 2 8 and 4 now because 4 is the outermost electron present that means in the outermost orbit there are four electrons present and we know that the combining capacity of an atom comes with the number of electrons that are present so when it is four it depends on the number of electrons it is going to donate take or share among itself to form a bond so in this case the valency of silicon is going to be four so what is the valency of silicon it is going to be four because in the outermost orbit it has got four electrons similarly if we take oxygen the atomic number is 8 so the electronic configuration of oxygen is going to be 2 and 6 that is oxygen is in need of 2 electrons so as because oxygen is in need of 2 electrons to make the outermost orbit octate so the valency of oxygen is going to be so in case of sulfur, uh, sorry, in case of silicon, it is going to be 4 and in case of oxygen, it is going to be 2. 
Sodium has completely filled K and L shells. Explain. Now here it is sodium ion. We know that sodium has atomic number of 11. Whereas sodium ion means the atomic number is 10. That is the outermost orbit is filled up with 2 and 8. And in the first shell it is K and L. So in sodium atom it is K, L, M, 2, 8 and 1. So this one electron is given away. So as it get, give, gives away this one electron, it gets converted into sodium ion with atomic number 10, so which is equal to 2 and 8.